I am here with Scott Marcerone, founder of Let There Be Frederick Rock School, which is now Let There Be Rock School, right? Correct. What is the <laughs> I it's know we all, be, all it's Let There Be Rock School, yeah. so we get called a lot of things. Yes, here you Frederick, do. So that's you fine. Do. But you've been around a long time. 14 years, that's, going on 15. That's crazy. So yeah. you have really seen some of these kids grow up uh, in music. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, that's been amazing. We've had kids come through our program, go away to school, now working for us. We've been to rock school weddings. <laughs> uh, it's been pretty amazing watching watch them grow. We've had some kids come out and be in some of the biggest active rock bands in the world right now, touring and, you know, playing arenas. And yeah. It's pretty and incredible. you had a hand in all that, which is kind of cool. It, it's pretty neat to see. It is neat to see. <laughs> it is neat to see. And I think um, when we first met, I think I met you in 2008 when I came back to Frederick and started my company. But, um, you know, your idea and concept Obviously, there was, uh, you've really struck a great need, um, giving kids and adults an opportunity to experience music in a way outside of a, a school setting or anything like that where they can kind of just be who they need to be. Yeah, our mission statement's like, it's all about community yeah. and the individual and being an individual and fostering that and, and including everyone. Inclusion, no matter no matter what, yeah. you welcome everybody with open arms. Yeah, no matter the style of music, no matter yeah. the, yeah, anything, which I love. And it's so funny when I first met you and took a tour of the school and you were describing these different parts of the school where kids would just hang out and get to know one another. You've really done that. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been amazing the last 14 years. Yeah. Um, Frederick County has been great to us and supportive to Keela and I, my wife, and mm. it's, uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, I think you are the, the rock and roll parents of Frederick, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So uh, you, in particular, this school has been so generous with the Frederick community. I know I have, on a number of times, said, hey, do you have any music you can send over? Uh, and you continue to do that. Obviously, it helps. It gives the kids exposure, right. the bands. I don't want to keep saying kids, but the bands exposure to public events. But you do that all on your own dime, and um, right now is a time Frederick needs to give back, right? So June 15th, you guys have a big event you're supporting. Yeah, we partnered up with uh, RhythmChanges.org, who's a local nonprofit um, that puts uh, you know, money back into the community um, through um, lessons and and music equipment mm. and uh, making sure that every kid has an opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we know um, what a culture and community that music provides and the support system and all of that is very important for all kids who have any interest. And when they're focused kind of on one thing, kind of helps them deal with a lot of other things that they may be dealing with. Absolutely. And we saw that firsthand in the pandemic. Um, we figured a way out to stay open through the pandemic and it was just the outpouring of calls and emails from our parents saying, thank goodness that you guys stayed mm. open through this. This is the only thing our kids look forward to every week. Yeah. Well, it was pretty amazing to see and just, just with all the mental health stuff going on nowadays yeah. to be able to help and support that. Um, that's why we started this place. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And it kind of comes full circle. You get to see the positivity that you actually created. If there was one thing you wanted people of Frederick to know about this school that you have started, what would that be? Um, it's all about inclusion and community and giving yeah. back. Um, yeah. We want to make sure everybody feels comfortable in here and they can truly be their self um, and have a good time doing it. Yeah. You know, that's what it's all about is really enjoying music. Also learning and working hard and, and, you know, all that comes with it. But we wanted to make sure it's a safe, creative, inclusive environment here in yeah. Frederick County. Yeah. So uh, any anything big coming in the future for you guys in particular? Yeah. Anything you're working uh, on? We just expanded over. We just took over an, another 1,200 square feet of our facility. Pretty much state-of-the-art drum lessons, um, um, studios, and... We have a lot of big shows coming up this summer. We have summer camps coming up. Yeah. Those are up on our website, all over our social media, on Instagram and Facebook. Um, we still have a few openings for those. We have five camps we're doing this summer, June, wow. July, and August. Yeah. 
We've partnered up with the great Eric Berg and the Eric Berg Trio. Yeah. So we're doing amazing jazz workshops on Sundays here. Eric's yeah, I posted our school. that. I think that's on our uh, yeah. calendar. So and that's he's awesome. He's two weeks of summer camps here at, at the Rock School, but he does an every Sunday jazz ensemble thing here program, which has been incredible. Yeah. And Eric's world class jazz musician. Well, that's the thing. I mean, these kids are getting access because of your connections to a lot of really great musicians. And yeah. uh, I think it's, you know, if you want your kids or an adult, I mean, I have a lot of adult friends who are oh, yeah. revisiting their uh, rock and roll days or whatever. Yeah. And I think it's really great because again, it gives, that there's never uh, a statement here that, oh, well, you're to this or you're to that. Yeah. It's just come on in and have come a good time. Come on in and do it. Yeah, we not only do rock, in the name, obviously, we do mm. all styles of music. Yeah. We have people doing classical yeah. opera, vocal lessons, classical piano, or jazz stuff. Um, yeah. Little everything, country to yeah. whatever style of music you want to learn and, and partake in. We do that. We had a you know a country adult band, mm -hmm. Southern Charm, that started ah, here. Huge. We put together and went on and did great things in the community. And yeah. So You're we do a little like everything. Frederick Simon Cowell putting together people <laughs> in the best way, in the best way. I think what? I'm a little nicer than Simon Cowell. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> who's the most successful? Do you have anybody who's like really, I know you have people that yeah, are Yeah, we had a, we had a, we had a, a young gentleman named Nick Folio who we taught since he was 12. Um, he's in a band called Bad Omens who is touring the world yeah. to 5,000 to 10,000 people a night. They're doing festivals in front of hundreds of thousands of people. They are one of the biggest rock bands in the world right now. Yeah, they live bands. in my neighborhood. I see yeah, yeah. dad so all you the see time. Mike so, yeah. of course. Love Mike. He works with the youth here in Frederick yeah. County as well. Yeah. He's such a great guy. Um, we have another um, alumni, actually was an instructor of ours, Logan Abernathy, who was in a band called Catch Your Breath that's doing the same stuff. That's amazing. Uh, it's been amazing. And uh, we had a young lady out of our Philadelphia location named Audrey McLaughlin. He made it to the final show on The Voice. She was on Blake Shelton's team. Oh, my. And came in like sixth place. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that is uh, very cool. And it, But it's a testament to what you guys are doing and fostering and nurturing talent and giving people a space to do it and uh, letting them, you know, just take right off, which is great. Well, it's great when you work with people like you, Danny, who's always, we've always worked together and you support local business. And it's been amazing to watch your trajectory through <laughs> Frederick County. It's pretty cool. I mean, you yeah. hustle and get everybody connected here in Frederick. And that's what Frederick County is all about it and is. needs, right? Yeah. It needs more of that. Yeah. People working together. We did a big fundraiser during the pandemic and we raised seventeen thousand dollars for four or five different charities. Yeah, that charities, was fun. That was, was really pretty fun. Pretty cool. And yeah, you guys were a big part of that. Yeah. Um, so we thank you for that. So of course. Giving back is uh, what we're all about here. Well, and it's true what they say, even though at the time sometimes you may not know it. But when you do give, you get more from the giving Great. than anything else. And so we appreciate all you're doing. All right. Well, if you want to check out the Rock School, you can do it. We'll make sure that the website is up. Summer camps, great way to keep your kids off the screens and learning <laughs> something new and maybe coming away with a new passion that could be, they could be touring worldwide. <laughs> I want to thank Scott and the Rock School. Thank you, Danny.